Hello and welcome to my small corner of YouTube. My name is Julia and I thank you for joining me. I have to start by saying that I have seen many stamp set with Halloween dressed up animals, so this idea is by no means mine. The stamp sets are very much my inspiration, but I drew the animals from my mind. I'm starting off with this haunted house that I drew up and just love how it turned out. I'm coloring the house and animals in Uhuhu alcohol markers. I start off with my lightest color of warm gray tones and I make sure to saturate the paper with that first layer and then I get my medium shade and make sure to darken where I want my shadows to be. Then I take my darkest shade and really define those shadows. And finally, I blend them out with my lightest shade again. For the roof, windows and doors, I use the same three shades of brown and do the same procedure with the light to dark and light again to blend the colors together. I just love this house with the tile on the roof and the boarded up windows. I use a pale yellow for the inside of that round window and that ghost gets a light grey color just around the edges and I use a colorless blender to blend that grey out. Some of my Halloween dressed animals didn't make it to this video's card but there's still time. Starting with my fox, whom I love the most, I gave him a orangey brown in two shades for the top of his head and face, and I colored his legs and tail with the same orangey browns, and then a light apricot for the lower part of his face. This little fox is dressed up like a vampire and I hope you can see his scary fangs. For his cape I did three shades of purple, working from light to dark and light again. And I didn't want to take away from that purple, so I gave him a black shirt and some brown pants and left his bow tie white among a lot of pungent colors. Here I have colored my ghost cat and start coloring a few pumpkins to add to the card if need be. And I'm already sure I will be needing. For the pumpkins I use a yellow, an orange and a reddish orange to get those glowing happy pumpkins with the yellow as a hi highlight. And I take great care to color the stems in two browns and the leaf in two greens and then we make a card.
For the background, I work on watercolor paper and try to blend a green glowing night sky for my little trick-or-treaters. From the middle, I blend twisted citron with mowed lawn and the darkest pine needle, trying to blend seamlessly and glowing. I have sped this up quite a bit because it took me more than a few minutes to go back and forth between the colors, trying to achieve a vibrant creamy blend. I have these spider web stamps from Marianne Designs and I want to use them to frame my Halloween scene. I put the largest web on an acrylic block and stamp it in Versafine Onyx Black. While the ink is still wet, I cover the stamped image in clear embossing powder and use a heat tool to melt the powder until it's black and glossy. I do the same for both the top corners and one off camera in the middle that got smushed but luckily my haunted house goes over that blooper so it won't show up at all. I use Distress Oxide ink in black soot to darken the edges and corners so the middle will look even brighter and I love those dark corners. Off camera I cut some strips of black cardstock and put together a fence for the house. Not one straight line, I wanted it rough and tilted and now it's time to assemble the card. I glue down my haunted house and the fence and then I glue down my Halloween critters. The cat with an arrow through her head, the vampire fox, the pumpkin squirrel and the ghost cat. And as a last detail I show some pumpkins to give my scene that orange flare of color. I use the simplest of sentiments, boo to you, because I think this card has enough detail and I use the green oxide inks from before to add color to that small sentiment strip. I use a black marker to go around the sentiment boo to you to frame it and make it part of the card. Then I glue my sentiment down and use a fine liner to frame it some more. And that was my card for this time. Thank you all for watching and supporting. Until the next time, boo to you.